So if you guys look at your Pythagorean identity here, sine square root of theta plus cosine square root of theta equals one. Both of you guys see if we subtract a sine on both sides, we get cosine, we get one cosine of theta equals one minus sine square root of theta, right? So I'm just gonna rewrite this as sine of theta over cosine squared of theta. Still, this doesn't really help me out though much, right? I'm not seeing anything over there. I know I can rewrite cosine squared as cosine of theta times cosine of theta, d theta. Do you guys agree with me? That's the same thing. What's nice about this though is I can group these together and put make sure a one over there so now I'm integrating sine over cosine using my quotient identity is tangent of theta, and one over cosine using my reciprocal identities is secant of theta. Now, do I have an antiderivative for secant times tangent? Yes. yes, it's secant of theta plus c. So are we doing theta? Yeah, not x. And there you go. Okay. Um, Ooh, jeez. Sorry about that. 